Hi, I'm Wolf Weigo. Today we're going to talk about the fundamentals of the skip shot and when to use the skip shot. Okay, so really the basic fundamental is you need to get up high out of the water, shoot from a high angle, okay, and get a lot of backspin on the ball. Okay, so that's the backspin on the ball is what you're going to get. It's going to propel the ball off the water and up into the air. Okay, so I'm going to get up high out of the water and I'm really going to finish with my wrist. Make sure that I'm getting a hard spin on the ball. That's what's going to push it off, off the water surface. Okay? One thing about the skip shot is you don't want to just randomly take the skip shot, especially from outside. The water's always moving. There's a lot of uh, bumps and waves. And if it catches it in the wrong spot, your ball is going to sail way over the goal. Okay? So that's the last thing you want is to take any chance of a goal from occurring. Okay? I like to have almost all of my shots be on cage so that it gives me the highest percentage chance that if the goalie makes a mistake, okay, it's going to be a goal. Okay, that said, there's some great times to do the skip shot. One of them is off the cross pass. As the goalie's reacting over, he's coming here, it's going to be really hard for him to block the ball that comes skipping right up here and into this area in the, in the, in the, uh, in the cage between his arm and his head. Okay, so that's my favorite time to take a skip shot is off a cross pass, okay, and where I know that the goalie's going to be coming across, he's not going to be ready to block here, he's going to be outstretched, and the ball's going to skip up and over the shoulder blades. Okay, another time there's some goalies who just really have a hard time picking up the skip shot, whether they have poor eyesight or whatever the reason is, and if you're playing against one of those goalies, I might try and skip the ball a little more in different situations. Let's check it out.